Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys a brand new box that I have received from GearBest.com. It is the Magic C Iron Plus. It is their S912 chipset box. In today's video we will be showing you how nice looking this box is and also what it's going to bring on the table for us. The ups and the downs will be on this video. Alright, without wasting your time, let's just get into it. So you can see that the box is really nicely designed. It doesn't have much markings in the back, but in the front has a really nice picture of it. And also you can see that on the sides it indicates what type of processor that it has. And if you go around it, it has a lot of information and also have the Magic C logo on one side of it. And once we open the box itself, it has a little sleeve. Once that's open, the box itself is just white. When you open that, there is a little plastic. Take that out. The components that are part of this is the Magic C Iron Plus box also comes with an IR remote. Again, this IR remote is multifunction. You can also teach this so you can turn on and off your TV. But again, this is an IR remote. Since this is a Android box, we really recommend for you to have a air mouse remote. Links for that will be available for different type of remotes. You can order it from the gearbest.com. The next thing is the HDMI cable. The HDMI cable is 2.0 also comes with a power adapter which is created for Canada United States it is 5 volt 2 amps and also you can see that a user manual the user manual is very simple it just have a few pages that will indicate how you can connect it how you can connect your box to the Wi-Fi and also go and next and what type of apps are available all right so we're gonna put that aside you can see that the box itself is really nicely designed on a top it has a little nice cuts to it till now it looks really really charming all right so you can see the front part it has their name on it and then we go to the right side of it there is nothing but when we go on the other corner of it you have one USB 2.0 port and then once we go to the back you can see it has the gigabit LAN connection also you have the AV connection wires are not included right beside that you have HDMI 2.0 and an optical connection so you can connect it to your surround sound also you have the DC connection which is 5 volt 2 amps going on the other side of it you have two more USB 2.0 port you will need that and also going on the other side of it you have one little micro SD slot so you can connect it and you can expand the memory inside of this unit itself going on the bottom part of it it has a lot of little holes all on each side of it so that way it can breathe and also have two little holes so if you want to hook this up to a wall perfectly this will set up for you it does have four little legs so that way it can stand up if you want to put it on a flat surface and I've said about the box itself, let's get it connected. So make sure that the HDMI is connected and then the power. If you do have an air mouse, in this case, I am going to use an air mouse, connect that too. And then you can see on the top that it has a blue little color. I have to indicate to you, but it looks like the light inside of it is moving side to side. So you're only going to see a little portion, which is in the middle part that is turning on. And yes, we did turn off the light as still we didn't get a really good color. So the first screen, as soon as it comes up, it will tell you that this is Magic C Iron Plus, and then it will go in. This is their Metro launcher. Again, you have huge, huge icons there, and yes, you will get some little pop-ups like this that some of the stuff is not compatible. Let's go through and show you. So once you go to the apps itself, there is some icons that we installed and it was not easy to do that by the way but again let's go next and let's show you what we have done so we will get out of this and this is how everything looks again this is OS 6.0 anything that you're trying to touch on this launcher is not going to really work so what we have done is we have changed the launcher go on in and we will select Nova launcher this way everything is very nice and smooth again just using this UI itself on it it just makes it a breeze and yes you will have less app crashing using this launcher on this box so this is how we going to test it so the first thing we have done is we went to speed test and we will click on it now under speed test we have already processed a few things so the first two bottom one is on LAN connection remember that this box is a gigabit LAN connection and where we are today we do have a 500 megabit download speed and 20 megabits upload speed you can see it right now that we are really lacking on download speed the second thing is the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi speed and the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi speed 
Wi-Fi that is set up on this, they are really lacking on speed wise for downloading. You can see it that it is going to 217, but then automatically just drops into 106. So it is over 100 megabits. You can see that and the upload part is really good. Same thing with 2.4 gigahertz, which is single band. You can see right now that it is just under 100 and under a 50. It's supposed to be about 90 ish. You can see it again that it is just on 48. 0.06 the second one is 47.57 and the upload rate is correct so since we have done more than this we still got the same type of result so this is one thing that is they really need to focus and work on it the second thing we have done is the and to to benchmark now on this you can see that we got 41,271 mark which is really good again it does require some little more work since this is a 3 gigabyte of RAM box doesn't matter if it's 16 or 32 so it's supposed to give us a little bit better result than this and we getting out of this too the next thing go into is the Geekbench now under Geekbench we already done our testing and you can go there there you go so single core right now shows is 516 and dual core shows 2412 this looks okay to us but since this is an s912 chipset with t820 graphics card or gpu this should give us a little bit better number than 500 and 2400 it's supposed to be a little bit over 3000 according to what we have tested with some boxes all right so we will get out of this too the next thing we will go through is going to be the cpu z under cpu z you can see that this is arm cotex a53 running on 1.51 gigahertz and there is all the octo core cpu that you're going to see it is all here and the ones that are running in full burst and the ones that are running in minimum burst is all here also in a bottom part of it you're going to see the molly t820 gpu which is tri-band and when we go under device you can see the name is iron plus is right there the chipset creator is am logic and going down the ram part of it is right here that it says 2810 which means it's three gigabyte and then at the bottom part of it the internal storage the one that we received is 16 gigabyte that's why 11.38 is internal storage the rest has been taken care of by the pre-installed apps plus the OS itself once we go under system as we're going to see the Android version which is 6.01 and also going down all the other information is there on this we'll tell you root access is no which is good so we will get out of this too and this is where we're going to see if this box is rooted or not so we just click on verify and it will tell you this is not rooted here's some little problems if you go under Google Play Store and now you want to go ahead and search for certain apps such as Antutu or Kodi. Let's look for it. Now thinking that this is AM Logic 32-bit system, Google Play Store should bring it up and show you Kodi or any other apps. Here's one little problem. It's not going to show you here. It's because the way that the kernel has been built is missing a few little strings. I'm sure that the developers are watching this from the Magic C will fix it. In this way, they're going to help us out to bring a lot of apps available on this. There are certain things that you can download, but there's a lot of apps that is not going to be compatible here. So right now we look for Kodi and it's not showing up. So we will get out of this too so what we have done is we went through their apps going into Kodi so on the our video on a USB and we will go through and play a 4k video first so there you go as soon as it loads it plays very nicely now we will stop this and we will go into 1080p video this is our stock video as you can see and this is 1080p right now it's just playing without any kind of hesitation or stop and if we go again if you go under apps and you go under settings I have to let you guys know that this box comes with Bluetooth 4.1. So that means is you're not going to just get stuck with one type of voice if you want to connect your headset to this or if you want to have a bigger 
Bluetooth speakers, this will give you a proper voice. So this is a plus sign for this box. And again, you can see the customization in the back of this icons that it is not just gray. They have really touched that part to change it to different color. I will be placing a link where you can order this box from. And also, if you want to order some air mouse remotes from gearbass.com at the bottom of this video. In the meantime, I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment on the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is xctext.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places. And thank you.